Hello ladies and gentlemen, in today's video I'll show you how you can create these three dynamic and animated titles in PowerPoint. Let's go! Alright my friends, so let's jump into PowerPoint and let's create all of these three animated titles from scratch. And let's start with the first one. And first of all, let me just grab this beautiful photo from the first slide and let me just paste it to slide number 4. This is where we will be working and by the way, all of these beautiful photos that you see in today's tutorial are from unsplash.com, link is in the video description. And now let's just insert a text box, let's just click somewhere outside of the slide so that we can see what we're typing and let's just type in neon. Alright, and now let's increase the font size to something huge, for example 200, that's awesome. Let's set the font color to white, let's center align the text inside of the text box and let's center align the text box inside of the slide. Ok, and for the font I'm using Railway Extra Bold, you can find this font on Google Fonts, link is in the video description. And now let me show you how we can add a subtle shadow to this text box. Let's go to text options, uh, let's go to shadow and let's choose this preset in the middle. Ok. And first of all, let's change the color of the shadow, let's use the eyedropper tool and let's just copy this bright blue color, ok. And now let's just change these settings a little bit for the size, let's use 125% uh, and for the blur let's use 40 points. Looking good. Alright my friends, and now let's start adding some animations and for that let's make sure that our text box is selected, let's go to animations and let's choose this flying animation. For the duration, I mean direction, let's choose from top. And for the duration, let's use 2 seconds, ok? And let's add some bouncing end to this animation and for that we can just type in 1.9 seconds or anything that you wish here and just click ok. And now let's check out what we have so far and as you can see our text box is bouncing a lot. That's super duper awesome. And next let me show you how we can make it even more fun and animate all of the letters individually. So here in the settings, animate text, let's make sure that we choose by letter and click ok. And now let's check out the animations once again and as you can see all of the letters are being animated individually, that's wonderful. And now my friends, let's actually duplicate this text box that we have just created, ok, you can hold down the control shift key to do that. And for this second text box, let's change the flying direction, direction, let's choose from bottom, ok. And let's make sure that both of these text boxes are in the middle and center of the slide. And for this second animation, inside of the animation pane, let's make sure it starts with previous, which means together with the first animation. And this is the final result for the title number one. Looking beautiful, let's check it out on the full screen. Ok, now let's continue with the second animated title and for that we can just duplicate the slide that we have just created and let me just grab this beautiful background picture. And let's just replace this one, ok, let's make sure that we send this picture to back. You can hold down the control shift key and left bracket to do that. And now let me delete one of the text boxes, for now we just need one, ok. And let's update the text, let's just type in arcade, that's beautiful. And let me quickly jump to the text shadow options and let me just slightly update the settings. Let's use 100% for the size and for the blur 20 points. I think for this photo these shadow settings suit very well. And now let's move this text box a little bit downwards so that we can select the individual letters and now let's use the eyedropper tool and pick different colors from this photo and use them as shadow colors for these letters. So for example for these two letters in the middle let's use this pink color, that's awesome. And for these two last colors let's just select them. Now let's grab the eyedropper tool and let's uh, pick any of these colors, for example this dark pink color, that's beautiful. And now let's bring this text box back to the center of the slide. And now let's check in the animation pane what's going on. So here is a flying animation that we have from the previous slide. Let me just change the flying direction, let's use from top. Ok, here it is, that's beautiful. And now let me show you how we can add the flickering effect to this uh, title. Let's just click the add animation button and let's find the fade animation, that's good. Let's bring the fade animation to the top of the animation list and for the duration let's use 0.1 seconds. And in the fade animation options, let's make sure that this fade animation is repeated 12 times just for fun. And let's click OK. And now let's check out the animations and as you can see we have this dynamic flickering effect and all of the letters are flying in individually, super duper awesome. And now let me jump to the selection pane and let's give a proper name to this text box. So here is the text box number 3. 
Let's just rename it to, for example, text fill, because later on we'll be making a duplicate of this text box, and for the duplicate we'll be using only outlines, okay? So let's just make a duplicate, you can use Ctrl and Shift key to do that, and let's rename this duplicated guy, let's call him text outline, okay? And now let's go to shape format, text fill, and for the fill let's use no fill, and let's just add text outline, let's use white color, and for the line width let's use one and a half points. That's beautiful. Okay, so let's make sure that both of the text boxes are in the middle of the slide. Okay, let's make sure that text fill is at the top of the selection list. And now as you can see we have four animations in the animation pane, two animations for the text fill and two animations for the text outline. So for the text outline animation, let's make sure it starts with previous together with the rest of the animations. And let me just change up the direction of the flying animation for the text outline. Let's use from bottom. So text outline should come from bottom and text fill from the top. And this is the final result that we get for title number two. Let's check it out on the full screen. Skadoosh, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Alright my friends, you're doing wonderful and now let's continue with the last animated title. Let's duplicate our last slide. Let me grab this beautiful background picture. Let's paste it right here. Let's delete the old photo, let's paste in the new photo and let's send it to back. You can hold down Ctrl Shift key and left bracket or just right click and choose send to back. And now let me update both of these text boxes and this time we'll be using both of these text boxes. So let's make sure that we type in glitch into each of them. Okay, and if you have a hard time selecting the text outline, you can just hide the text fill in the selection pane and after that unhide it. And now let's pick a different shadow color for this glitch text box. Let's make sure that the text uh, fill layer is selected. Let's go to shadow options and let's use the eyedropper tool to copy any color that we wish. For example, this beautiful orange color. That's awesome. Okay, and now let's jump into the animation pane and let's see what's going on. So all of these animations come from our previous slide. And now let's do a couple of adjustments. Let's hold down the control key and let's select these little fade animations for both outline and fill. And let's change them to random bars, okay? Let's make sure that the duration stays 0.1 seconds. And now let's preview the animations and as you can see we're getting this beautiful glitch effect. That's awesome. And one last thing I'd like to do is to change the flying directions both for the fill and outline layers. Let's just use left and right for both of these guys. Okay, so this way we get a horizontal glitch effect. Looking beautiful. And by the way, we can hold down the shift key and select slides number 5 and 6. And let's just add an interesting slide transition to these guys. Let's choose cover. And we can choose any direction. Let's leave it from right. That's beautiful. And now let's check out the final result on the full screen. Congratulations ladies and gentlemen. Now you know how you can create these dynamic and animated titles in PowerPoint. Thank you for watching. Stay happy, stay healthy. And I'll see you on my next video.